guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today it is the day after Christmas and I thought it would be fun to show you guys some things that I got for Christmas and I also want to know what you guys got so comment below in the comment section what did you get from Santa this year. Now I only have a couple of things here with me which I wanted to show you but uh, most of the things that I got was like it was either money I just basically asked people for money because I, I don't know I, I never really want a gift. Like, there isn't something that I want, and if I do want it, it's really expensive. So, I kind of like to ask for money to put towards something else. Um, so, I mostly got money and uh, a lot of candy, a lot of chocolate, a lot of freaking sweets and all that stuff. And I was just literally looking at it last night. I had a pile like this of just all kinds of candy, and I was like, is it even worth being on a diet at this point? Like... I'm looking at all this stuff thinking like, I gotta eat this now. Like, it's gotta be done. Like, I'm, I don't know, is it worth it? Is it worth being on a diet? Like, I might as well just be fat. However, I did get some interesting gifts from people. Um, one of them I'm really excited to show you guys and I feel like it would go, it's, it's too good to use. Um, and I feel like it would go really well in here somewhere, maybe down there by the Hocus Pocus Funko Pops because it is a hunk, uh, oh, hunk. it is a hunky hunky. <laughs> it, it is a uh, Hocus Pocus mug from my grandma i'll zoom you guys in so you can see it better but it's like it says on it and i th i think it's kind of ironic really especially because i've made videos putting curses on people and claiming to be a witch <laughs> like literally doing witchcraft in here and uh it says i just took a dna test turns out i'm 100 that witch and it's got the three hocus pocus witches right there but the cool thing about it is it also has my name on it my grandma got my got this for me and she got my name put on it um so i think that's really it's iconic it's cool and it confirms now i am a witch <laughs> like you see if you don't believe me just take a look i took a dna test hello 23 and me do you guys not remember and it said i'm 100 witch so <laughs> I guess I am really a witch now. Maybe it can go there. I'm not too sure yet. I'll figure it out. But anyway, I got something else. Um, as you guys know, my main gift from my secret Santa, which was like what me and my family do as a traditional thing, um, where we bought, we like pick one name from somebody in the family um, and we all do that. And we just mainly buy for that one person, like one expensive thing for them and just like little bits for everybody else. And it just works out a whole lot more convenient and cheaper. Um, and... I got my, as you guys know, I got an infrared light for my night vision camera. I have showed you that before, so I'm not going to show you again. Um, I've showed you multiple times what that does. It's like a little infrared light that goes on the top of my night vision camera, so I can use that if I ever go ghost hunting, which hopefully I will soon. And I got another gift here, which I think is iconic. I love it, and my grandma got me this too. And um, if you guys have ever been to like a Chinese restaurant or something like that, you will probably have seen them. And I remember one time me and my grandma were at this Chinese restaurant it was like a Chinese takeout and uh, we asked the the lady working there the Chinese lady we said to her what what does that thing mean um, because you seem to like see it in all Chinese places and she said it means good luck and fortune it is known in China as a lucky a Chinese lucky cat and my grandma got one <laughs> look at this thing guys I thought it was cute I always thought it was like adorable and I never really knew the meaning behind it but apparently the Chinese believe that having one of these in your household or your store, or if you have a business to run, um, having one of these, supposedly it will bring you good luck and fortune. So hopefully this year has some good things in store for me now that I have this waving Chinese lucky cat. So I think that's beautiful though. Um, and it's like, it looks gold and it looks like heavy, but it's actually not, it's really light. It's just made of like hollow plastic. And all it takes is like one uh, AA battery and it goes for like it's similar to a clock it will literally go for like over a year probably so it's pretty cool um i just have this in my bedroom and now i feel like it might bring me some good luck which i actually do need um so hopefully this lucky cat will do that and i think it's just it looks cool anyway it's really like i don't know it's iconic it stands out and yeah how cool is that <laughs> like i would have it in here for the background of my videos um but i, I don't think it fits the theme of all the scary stuff and also I feel like it would be a distraction to the video itself. I feel like people would be more focused on that than what I'm actually saying. <laughs> they would get to the end of the video and be like, what did he say? And then they're going to have to watch it again. And then I would get double the view time, which means double the ad revenue. Okay, Chinese lucky cat's here to stay. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's definitely staying in my bedroom. But I don't know how superstitious I am. I know a lot of people, like my mom, she loves like the Buddhas, which is like little ornaments of like the Buddhas everywhere. 
um, and like the little fat guys, apparently they bring you some good luck too. Um, so this is kind of another one of them, um, and it like, supposedly it's like bringing in good luck, so I like it a lot. I also got earrings from my other grandparents, um, which it, I only have one ear pierced, which is this one. I haven't worn an earring in a long time. In fact, I think the whole sealed up, actually. I was looking at it today, and it's like completely sealed, so I'm probably gonna have to get that redone. I don't know. I mean, the, and the earrings, I forgot to bring them in here, but they are like little M's. There's two in the set, obviously, because like if you got both ears done, um, and and I'm, I'm gonna have one there and it's M for like Mike. So that'd be pretty cool. It's like silver. So that'd be really nice, I feel like. But I, I think I'm gonna have to like do something about this ear first. And I also got a Starbucks cup because my little cousin stole my other one. You know, one of those Starbucks cups that's like about this tall, it's like a venti drink. Um, I had one of those and it was like limited edition at the time and my little cousin freaking stole it from me. So I got a new one. <laughs> so that's pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I don't really like to ask for gifts because there isn't many things that I actually want. But when people get me gifts, it's something that like, I feel like it's kind of iconic, like this cat thing. I feel like, I mean, I'm not overly superstitious. I don't really believe in good luck and bad luck and all of that stuff, but it's just nice to have. And it's nice to like, it's a nice little decoration. It's gonna catch people's attention people are gonna see it and be like oh, what is that thing over there moving oh wow look at that gold cat um so i, I kind of like things that stand out like that that are different and um yeah it's just really nice it shows that people like they they know the kind of thing that i'm into especially with the hocus pocus cup like I, it's kind of iconic and i didn't think my grandma knew that i was like i don't think she does know i think she just knows me better than probably like i know myself um, and she's, she doesn't even watch my videos or anything like that, but it's kind of funny that I was making videos, like, doing with a cauldron and stuff, <laughs> and, like, putting a spell on, uh, a curse on one of my trolls in the comment section, like, it's, it's just kind of funny, and it makes sense, and it kind of fits the theme of my studio, too, but I am really excited to try out the infrared light, I mean, I've tried it out in here, but I'm really excited to actually use the camera and go ghost hunting and stuff like that, I just need some better memory cards, because that type of camera, it's 4K, and it takes up a lot of space very, very quickly, so I'm gonna have to get some better memory cards, um, and then hopefully one day, be able to actually go out exploring and film ghost hunting videos, that would be insane, but guys, let me know in the comment section, what did you get for Christmas this year? I am curious to hear. A lot of you did tell me in yesterday's video, but tell me in this in this video again in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Remember the most important thing, chase your dreams and keep on fighting. Peace out, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.